In this movie, I'll be showing you the user experience while implementing Skype Shield DLP solution. The solution is available either based on a built in engine which is part of the Skype Shield product or integrating with commercial products such as Symantec or Forcepoint or others. So, in this system, for the demonstration, I have two rules one, Project Zoo, identifying the tech zoo in messages and in such case blocking the message and notifying the end user. I have an additional rule identifying ID numbers. In this case I use the action type update which means it will just replace the sensitive data with other characters and allow the rest of the, the message to go through. So let's see uh, the demonstration. I have two users, on the left hand side Bob and on the right hand side Alice and Bob is about to tell Alice about the new exciting project Zoo. Have you heard project Zoo? This message is uh, intercepted by Skype Shield DLP engine and is not received on the other side by Alice. and uh, Bob will receive immediately an instant message from Skype Shield admin telling him his message was blocked because of DLP policy violation. The other demonstration is related to updating a message, just masking the sensitive information. So Bob will tell Alice about his ID number. So in this case, uh, Alice is receiving the message from Bob, but you can see the sensitive information is masked, changed by stars in this case. And Bob is notified by an administrator that the sensitive information was removed from the message due to DLP policy. So all of these events are also audited in our system uh, in uh, specific DAP log tables.